Hey guys, this is Eshmo Lamte. You know, some downgrades feels very awful while some feels okay. And this most of the time happens to be my case. I sometimes, you know, change my device and then in the end, it feels like I have downgraded. Now, why am I even talking about downgrading in this video? So I was previously using a Dell G5 device, which was an i7 about 8th generation. And then I move or switch to an Alienware M15, which is an i5, but ninth generation so there's a bit of um, upgrade and downgrade in there also the dell g5 was um, an i7 um, with um, 16 gb of ram which you can actually upgrade to about 32 gb and unfortunately my m15 is 8 gb which you can't upgrade the ram is built on board of the device so that's a bit of a blow in there. I didn't know about that before getting, but that's okay. Now, aside that, um, there are a couple of things I tend to like about this device, that, that's the M15. I've used it for about two weeks now, and a few things I'd like to share with you. So without talking further, let's go ahead and take a look. So the first thing has to do with the design of this device. It was part of the things that got me to purchase it. It has a feel of a gaming device. Unfortunately, I'm not a gamer, but that was part of the things that got me to buy it. It has this RGB backlight at the head section, the base, as well as the keyboard. And then you have the power button, which you can actually tweak to change the colors based on what you want. Aside the design of it, I like um, the size as well as um, the weight. Now the size compared to that of the G5 is very much, you know, cool. And then the weight, is, this is about, I think, a 60 or 50 percent um cut of weight as compared to that of the g5 it's, it's easier to carry this around compared to the g5 in fact carrying a g5 foot the adapter is, is so much heavy so um aside the design aside the weight and the size of it i also tend to like the feel of the keyboard when typing it has some kind of premium feel when 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 typing unfortunately this doesn't have the um, extended you know keypad that is the numerical section but um, this has just the standard part which is very much okay and then also the track part which you know is very cool it has some smooth feel whenever you are using it and it's very responsive depending on whatever you are doing aside that also the screen is um, OLED which has a bit of the IPS um, display functionality as part of it so you can you still get great um, display from different angles of this device the graphics of this device is nvidia which you know gives you some kind of great feel whenever you're playing games it's, it's it's actually a very good device i must say and um, so far in about two weeks using it i i don't have a, any bit of regret i only wish i could have upgraded ram to maybe 16 or more but unfortunately that is not going to happen but that's okay that is fine so um these are some few things i have actually um enjoyed so far using this device uh, i'll be making a complete review of this device so i share with you uh, much more details or information about it so in case you probably think of getting one it could help you know, influence your decision so that is basically just about it oh i forgot to uh, talk about the battery so the battery has been very very good so far you can actually tweak the settings of it to be able to give you optimal you know um, performance or probably something that is going to be okay to work with so um basically these are some few things i have sharing for now um i'll be sharing more later so in case you are new to this channel don't forget to smash the subscribe button and then don't forget to hit on the bell so that anytime there's a new video you get to see it so it's more here thank you very much for watching bye for now